Hi everyone, this is Ryan from Masuva. Not long ago I did a video that showed the composer in Concrete 5, how to set up a custom page type, how to set up some custom attributes, and a bit of the programming to show outputting those attributes onto these custom page types, as well as listing them in page lists. What I wanted to do today was show how you can take that concept and extend it and also hard code some blocks in to make life a little easier when you're adding more complex things and in this case we're going to do a, a photo gallery. The reason I pick a photo gallery is it's one of those tasks that can be a little bit messy in Concrete 5. Um, we've got a really nice file manager to manage files in file sets but then when it comes to the page itself often it's a case of having to add manually a gallery block or at least change and edit an existing gallery block on a page type to point at that file set or pick your, pick your files. What I really like is the idea of a concept where you simply pick a file set when you're creating the page in the composer and that's all you need to do to actually create and configure that, that gallery page. So that's what we're going to do today. What I've done is I've set up a new Concrete 5 install here. It's running a very vanilla theme just, just to show what's going on. I've also done a few things ahead of time. I'm not going to repeat the same sort of steps that I did in the last video. In particular, I've installed a couple of extra packages. One of the packages is a file set attribute, and this is an attribute type. And this allows you to simply pick as an attribute a file set from the file manager and it returns an ID. The other one is list files from set. This is a block that um, I created that is something um, that you point at a file set and it simply returns a formatted list of the files that are in that file set. Both of these packages are free and you can get them from the marketplace. In my um, page types, I've already created a very uh, basic album page and that's really just a copy of a blank page um, and that's ready to go and I've set up the uh, composer for that page type I've got that publishing underneath a particular page so all of my new albums are going to go under an albums page and I've got that set up here and on my albums page I've got a very basic page list just to be able to get to the, um, the albums down the track so that's that's the initial setup what I'm now need to do is create using this special um, file set attribute a new page attribute so I'm going to search for page attributes here and I'm going to create a new one called file set and let's just call it file set and I'll call it file set like that then I'm going to go back to page types and I'm going to edit the composer settings for my album and I'm going to include file set there so what this means is that when I want to get, create a, an album in the future, um, all I do is go to the Composer and Write, fill in the name of my album, maybe a short description, and I can pick my file set there. That's another thing I've done for this demo. I've uploaded a few, few photos in there and created a few file sets to save a bit of time. So if I do this now and I pick my holiday photos and put one in there, pick my file set here at the moment I get an empty page you can see the page has been created underneath my, my albums here but there's nothing on the page at the moment to actually output those photos as I was saying earlier if I had a default block a gallery block or even my my file list from set block that was a default block I'd need to then go in and pick the file set and that kind of defeats the purpose of picking that on the composer page so what we can do is hard code the the block on the page. Um, luckily the, with the list files from set block it's really not that complicated so it's quite easy to do. What I'm going to do is I'm going to um, copy a few lines of code um, really from somewhere else. I'm just going to paste them in and explain them um, what I'm doing. So the first thing I'm, I'm going to do is I'm going to create a new um, album or list files from set block on the page uh, programmatically and I'm going to paste it in this way so we can see here I'm creating a new object of a, a new block of the type list files from set and it's storing it there that's sort of that's created it but it's, it's not doing anything with it 
what I need to do is I need to actually render that to the page and that means to um, actually tell it to output something so I'm going to do that by going album render and by default it's view the problem here though is that at this point because I haven't picked a, a file set I, it's not going to output anything so I need to programmatically tell it what file set but that file set comes from the page attribute so what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a variable here and go from the page get attribute file set I believe that's what matched my attribute here I'll just double check I called it file set like that so that there I'm fetching that on the from the page itself and that's something I covered in the previous video and then finally I can go album and then tell the controller that I want to set that block to have the file set ID that I pull from the page and that's really all there is to it so I'll hit save we'll go back to our album and there's all my my files so what I could hypothetically do now is I could go back in I could go to my other file set hit save hit refresh and you see that block is automatically working out the file set and pulling those those um, those files in so we're halfway there we've automatically got that happening but the problem is it's pretty boring to be able to click through we want to be able to see some thumbnails so what we what we can do is the list files from set block like any other block can also have custom templates and I'm going to create a custom template for my list files from set block so what I need to do is I need to go up to my, my top level blocks folder here and I'm going to create a new folder called list files from set from set there and inside that I'm going to create one called templates and again I covered this sort of thing in the last video and what I'm going to do is I'm going to find my default template from list files from set which is view the view file and I'm going to copy that in if I can drag that up the top into here and I'm going to change this to something a bit bit um, a bit more meaningful so I'm going to call this thumbnails now at this point here is my um, here's the code that list files from set does to output the file so we really want to um, look at where it starts to output the file and here it is here it's outputting a, a list of of links to the file what we really want to do though is we want to um, take the file and actually output it now one way we could do this is by following a very similar approach that we did in the previous video I can use a image helper and I can go fetch the image and output that um, in amongst uh, this link as opposed to the title so again I'm going to take a bit of a shortcut and copy a few things in here but I need an image helper so I'm going to add that at the top and that's the image helper line there I'm going to generate a thumb let's make them something a bit bit nicer 300 by 300 and that final setting is, is to do with cropping it so I've got that thumb thumbnail there and what I can do is I can output the thumb here and I'll just get rid of these defaults and I'll leave the tile in there for now just to show what's happening now at the moment there's nothing to tell this album page to you to tell this block to use this particular template so that's one final line we need to put in we'll need to tell the actual temp the, the uh, render function to use templates thumbnails and note that I haven't put dot PHP I'm just telling it the name that it needs to look for in the templates folder so if I hit save and I hit refresh 
boom, we're, we're starting to see our images. They're still in the list. I haven't done anything styling wise. You can see my title there. So finally, I can take that out of the template if I like. The titles, the titles here, and I'll remove that. Now, why, why this is good to leave in this link here is because what I can do with this is that I can actually turn this into something with a light box. At the moment though, if I hit save, we're really just talking about a um, you know, the starting point for, for a gallery. If I click on these, you'll see you'll still link to the image. And the way that light box and galleries generally work is that they have a thumbnail image, clicking on them, it's they'll, they'll enlarge the linked file into the light box. So let me now just tidy up a little bit of the the styling just so it looks a little bit more like a light box and we'll tidy up also the fact that at the moment this is linking directly to the file in the file manager problem with that is if you if you upload a very large image you're linking to too big a file you really want to control both the thumbnail here and also the size that we're outputting so what we'll do is we will go to our um, template our thumbnails template I'm going to change this um, class of the unordered list, I'm going to call this uh, just gallery for now. Down where I'm outputting the URL to the image, instead of doing the URL, what I'm going to do is I might just move this up here and I'm going to create a large version of the, the image and let's make it 600 by 800. This one we won't resize, we want to be able to see the full image there. And so instead of saying URL there, we're going to go large dot source like that. So you can see, and I'll just tidy this up. There's our, there's our linked list there. Um, we also probably want to check um, at this point that um, we can actually resize it. But um, you know that it is actually an image. That's something if you wanted to really tidy up the script for now. This should this should be pretty pretty fine. Um, it really just won't give you an image if you try and resize a PDF or something like that. Okay, so we've got um, that ready to go, and we won't see any difference yet. But we will see. See, it's it's just doing its quick resize now. These images here probably can't see too much on the. On my screen but they have actually resized then they're now a fixed width and height and what I'm going to finally do is I'm going to go back to my theme and I'm using a SAS based theme so I won't I won't bother with showing a SAS way of doing it but I have got a way to put some vanilla CSS in and I'm going to say gallery I'm going to say uh, margin zero padding zero and I'm going to say those list items of the gallery. I'm going to say list style type none. And if we refresh, we should see that starting to. Oh, it helps if I spell gallery right. There we go. And let's float those left. And we're starting to get something. A little bit more like a gallery, and I mean that's effectively responsive if you want to call it that. Um, and it, it's really up to you how you want to do your presentation. You might want to use a, a, a grid system, um, something to to actually turn into a gallery. So let's test out the final final product. Here's my beers. I've got my album uh, of holiday snaps. Well, actually, that really should be that really should be my my holiday photos. So we'll hit go, hit refresh crunching away there's my holiday photos they link through to the right photo so I'll go to my composer I'll say uh, beers here a selection of beer photos of course I go down and pick my beers here publish the page and I've already got my gallery happening so I don't have to do anything else what I could do at this point is I could do something like uh, go back to my my page for the album and I could do something like automatically output the the name of the page so uh, let's do that here h1 
and this is what I did in the previous video again. I'm going to echo get collection name. And I might output also the description for the gallery automatically. Hit save, hit refresh, and we'll see we've already got some description. So you could actually extend this. I've still got a main area on there. We could have uh, an area to edit before. If you, if you did want to enhance with um, ad hoc details, something like that. You could still give someone the ability to add miscellaneous things to a page, but ultimately you are left with a, um, uh, a, nice, a nice way to automatically create these and all the user or the, the person administrating the site has to do, upload photos and put them into a file set, go to the composer and pick that file set and it handles all the other tasks. So from here, um, I won't go into the details of adding um, one of the numerous light boxes, light box scripts that are available. I'll say though it really isn't that hard to do at this point. It would be a case of linking in the JavaScript library and then linking in the small amount of code that you need, generally one or two lines to say, let's look at the gallery list and those scripts will detect and see the, the list items and the anchors in them and, and do the light boxing itself. So yeah, so that's um that's a really nice way we think to to manage something like a gallery using the composer. Not all um, blocks can be hard coded, but many of them can. And in these cases where you definitely know you're going to be wanting to put a, a, a photo gallery, something like that, we actually think it's a really good idea to save some time. Cheers.